Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another day of the video. Darian, how's it going today? Today, we're in a much more vloggy mood. <laughs> yesterday, I do apologise for yesterday, I literally got home and didn't want anything to do with anything. I just wanted to just chill and do whatever the hell I wanted and for that reason you got a really crap video um, and the description was shit, everything basically because I was lazy and I wanted to just finish everything at nine and do nothing. Um, I was going to watch Breaking Bad, but instead watched uh, Doctor Who um, because I watched, uh, played two hours of uh, GTA with the boys um, and then I realised I had to still had to make sandwiches. So I still didn't like succeed in my plan of completely chilling out. Uh, but yeah, you can't avoid that kind of shit. Um, so yeah, I do apologise about yesterday. I'm gonna be much more vloggy today. I try out, we're actually gonna try. <laughs> God damn it. Um, got up this morning in a ratty mood. I was a bit of a, a bit pissed off because I got up and I uh, like literally perched on my fucking windowsill. It was one of them birds that sounds like, you know them old cracker things that you have at like football grounds. We go, fucking rattly noise thing. Right outside my window and he was so fucking loud. It was well pissed off with him. Um, so he woke me up before my alarms. Um, and I got up, had a tablet, shower, shave, sit around for like an hour until I could eat. Had a cup of tea with my breakfast because I can now drink tea without it burning my throat, which is good. But tea is one of the things that slows you down. You kind of just sit there and just sit. It's like, mm, sipping my tea, having a lovely morning. You look at the time, you're like, oh shit, god damn it, gotta get ready. I'm not late, like, I'm still fucking five minutes early to leave, but you know, just getting in the habit of doing nothing but work at the moment. <laughs> um, which I can't really complain about considering what weekend I had being off ill with my tonsillitis, but you know. So, what's going on today? We're gonna go to town, we're not going to town, we're gonna go to work. Um, and we are going to finish to this week's sprint. Uh, sprints normally take a month, but we're on a small team doing a small unimportant project, so we need to get as much practice doing sprints as possible, so we do four small sprints instead. Um, we are going to absolutely nail the project that we need to do. Um, there's, there's ways of automating what we want to do, but I'm just going to go, look guys, I'll take this one. I'm just going to uh, divert like proper, properly code it all from scratch instead of going like automated xml producers and stuff fuck that noise i'm just going to develop it just so that it just reads off the text and then just organizes it how you would expect the xml to do it um so yeah that's what i'm going to do to start off with the day and i think that's all we need to do like we need to produce the xml and then we can look at some of the things that we don't need to commit um so stuff like what else why is there that we don't need to commit um, like error handling for this, this like the sprint review at the end of the day, they're not expecting error handling, they're not expecting this, they're not expecting that. So we're going to build all that in. We've got basically until three to get it all finished, and the XML thing will take about fucking half an hour or so. Really easy. Well, an hour if you want it. Half an hour if you wanted like a rudimentary way of doing it an hour or so if you wanted it bulletproof with like exceptions handled and stuff like that um i'm gonna have lunch i'm gonna sit in and have lunch today uh i've taken like a yogurt and stuff i've got an interesting lunch i don't want to take oranges i bought oranges i don't know why i bought them because oranges are a bitch to peel and they smell and you get orange juice everywhere i don't want to take them to work so i'm taking a yogurt instead um so that's why i'm gonna have thingy in we're then gonna complete some more things that we said we wouldn't complete uh, and then go into our sprint review and the whole floor sprint review as well um, for the entire well no tech dev stand up I guess technical stuff but on bus journeys we're going to be planning our day because um, I need to do some stuff when I get home I can't just sit around and do nothing I need to do like Minecraft and stuff like that um, but I also just need to do general stuff basically I'm going to sort out my to-do list when I get home uh, well, when I'm on the bus and stuff. And I'm also going to be thinking about sorting out a video. I need to film a video either in the evening this week, assuming the light's okay, or the weekend. So I'm going to plan a video so that I can film it. Um, because it's been a while since I last made a video. 
um, and I reckon I'm like if I'm the, the, I'm aiming of having like Monday busy Tuesday not Wednesday busy da 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 not and then that way I free up like not free up but I free up like a Saturday or a Sunday to do completely different things so say if I need to do a shop I do it Monday night when I'm busy um, and stuff like that so the more work I can do during the week the better but obviously you need the little breaks to fill in where's the bus where's my bus I am really considering getting one of these by the way I'm strongly considering how cool that is but where would I take it you know like a proper proper scooter or like a longboard or something like that I thought about it for ages like something so that I don't have to walk all everywhere that isn't a bike hey. but it could give me more flexibility of the weekend like I could get to town quicker because I'm on that maybe I don't know I'll never buy one but I've thought about it I've told you that I thought about it that was a pretty productive journey in that was um, I've planned my day I've also planned out a uh, main channel video, the survey response video. If it works out the way I plan it to, it should be good. And it won't just be a vlog either, it'll be an interesting video that harks back to the olden days of when I used to make videos that were designed to be funny as opposed to designed to tell you things in a vlog kind of format. Um, so that should be good. Otherwise, I've been reading um, my book and stuff. Um, it's really good. It is good, and I wish I had more time to to actually read it. I'm doing a review for it on the main channel at some point in the future. Um, potentially before I go on, I obviously want to finish the book before I go on holiday, so I don't have to take it with me abroad, um, because then I'll obviously be taking a Kindle and stuff. Um, this car park seems very empty, but yeah, um, it is good. I've got some criticisms, a few. Uh, which I will save back for the review, but yeah, it's really good. How empty this car park is? What the hell? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a bloody good day today. It's been jolly good fun. Um, we started off cracking into hard the uh, the system that we had running at the moment. Uh, we have this window service that is constantly clocking away, and what it's doing is every five minutes it will access a database and go. Right, how's it going Mr. Database? It's a big database, the one that they're, um, uh, a big database that basically stores all of the transactions, well not transactions, but details of number of uh, quotes made, da 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 sales made, etc. Uh, it's quite a big database. <laughs> it's got like 30 days worth of sales on there. It's big. Um, so what we do is we have a, random, a service sat next to that, reading the information. And it will go, okay, five minutes has passed, give me the information takes the information with an SQL query, um, at which point it then filters the results, figures out exactly what it needs, converts all of that to XML and stores that as a file. From that point on, if anyone ever accesses the database for this information, they come to our service and the service goes, there you go, there's the information. The current system they have set up at the moment is a system where Everything is made directly with the database. So as soon as another client logs on or another web browser is opened, all that information is then requested from the database. The database has to trawl through all the information it needs, gives the information back to them. That then updates live every however many minutes or seconds or whatever. Um, and that means that the database is getting a bit swamped. It's got other stuff to do. It doesn't really care about us and our little request for thingy. But because everyone is doing it so many times, it's getting a bit inundated. So our project is to develop the service so that you contact the service instead, and that gives you the information. So that the database, it basically, it's the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to remove the data from the program itself. Um, and it's just decentralizing it all, basically. But today, I managed to take all of the data that we're getting from the SQL, converting that into the, um, XML file, SQL to XML, yeah. Um, I then figured out a rudimentary way of storing a backup so that if for whatever reason we were unable to get the information from the database um, or 
say the server ran out of hard drive space we weren't able to write another file saying here's how many more transactions we've got then we have the backup of the old file uh, the last one we had that was correct um, I set up a, develop a way of constantly storing that so that when requested we'll be able to pass it over um, and then otherwise the guys were just handling event handles and uh, error exceptions and stuff like that um, and we got it all running we got it all sorted with plenty of time to go we had lunch and then had about three hours uh, sat around fine-tuning stuff researching things for the next section um, before we were actually forced to display it we displayed it and we were miles ahead of where they expected us to be so we're doing good ladies and gentlemen that's where I was going with all of that what we're doing now is we've finished our sprint first sprint we've done well we've had a good sprint review and um, we'll have another like feedback thing tomorrow because we basically got like a load of feedback from like the end user from our manager and stuff um, and then tomorrow we will see if we can filter through that to figure out how to make the next sprint better because we're going to be planning it tomorrow uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing more the design side so the side where it's actually displaying the data that we've just got off um, and this is where we as a team get a bit unstuck it's a bit infuriating and it's a bit like come on guys we could do better than this so currently we are trying to design like an interface to display all of this information there's a lot of information to display it's quite difficult to display it and i'm like really trying my hardest to get people to be um more imaginative in the way that they're doing it and they're very the problem is as the team we've got one person that's very like stubborn like now i think it's this way is the best way of doing it and i'm like and you'll say but what if, what if we do this like the backup thing what if we do this 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 doesn't that logically make a lot more sense and he's very like if that's ever so slightly a little bit more work or a little bit different to how they designed it then they won't be able to it's very difficult to budge them the other person is very much like flaps in the middle between the two of us um but i'm scared because there is a current system and the way they want to design it i'm not scared um the way they want to design it at the moment is very similar to how it's currently designed and i want to innovate it more because it doesn't look like we've done anything if everything we've used so far is from the hell you know what this is guys fucking spoon rest oh yeah and it comes with a Sainsbury's thing in it that's what confused me um but yeah I'm very scared that they're going to be like well let's do it like this way because it's going to be simple but it's just going to look like we've taken what already exists we've rearranged it on a page to make it better and then that's it I want to try and innovate it a little bit and they're quite difficult to push into thinking outside the box a bit more and then making our own decisions instead of kind of just repeating what other people have done with a slight difference in the background um so yeah tomorrow in our oh, fuck, it's warm in here uh, tomorrow in our thingamajig i'm going to try and put it pitch it forward to our scrum master see what he thinks is the best way to go about it Are you going to stay there at all hey there we go um try and pitch it to him see what he thinks and stuff but at the present moment they're very reluctant to think outside the box i think and i'm trying to push them into making just ever so slight tweaks to make it work better and i haven't taken a tablet you twat i mean i have to take a fucking tablet now i have to wait an hour before i can eat balls but otherwise it's been a very good day but yeah tomorrow should be very interesting in order to see um just how the next sprint is going to go through i think as well because i wasn't there for the last time they were sprinting because i was ill last week this time last week actually um by me that goes fast doesn't it um because i was ill during that time we i didn't really get a say in like how fast like the movement we went in how fast we went da, 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 da. and i think because of that we kind of went slower than we could have done we did more than we expected but we were dawdling a lot of the time um so i think i'm going to try and push them a lot harder tomorrow but anyway um what's going on not a lot really particularly just got back in as you can tell um i've got my spoon rest which i'm going to be super excited about using when i make my curry tonight and that's a perfect example of when you need it because the rice you put the lid on and simmer so you can't just leave the thing over the top but it does need a bit of a bit of a scrub dub dub um but i've got to wash some pots anyway so i'm going to do that before i cook dinner um tonight i'm going to sort out the minecraft video which is what i'm currently 
just going to log on and just render out now. Well, not render out. Um, upload now. Um, going to do that. That's something else I wanted to do. I want to write uh, the letter, Lovely's letter, is what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Like I say, we're going to have try and alternate uh, relatively busy days. So, um, yeah. So today is going to be a bit more. Just do stuff. Tomorrow is going to be very... Just relax. We might end up playing Minecraft tomorrow with my Minecraft server that I've set up. So, yeah, that'll be exciting, won't it? Otherwise, I've got to get these jeans off as well because it's warm. Speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, the Minecraft uh, is uploaded today. It's in the description down below. Um, today we're starting the actual mining. We're going hell for leather on the strip mines in order to get a load of minerals and materials so that we can be set up for the end. Um, if you want a podcast, even if you don't care about Minecraft, if you just like listening to people's conversations as they laugh and joke about things, then it's going to be the perfect thing for you because um, it's literally just put it on in the background and just listen to us talk. Um, because my god do we talk about a load of crap all the time dinner time ladies and gentlemen you can start putting rice onto boil and stuff you're stirring you're stirring perfect ladies and gentlemen I'm taking zero prisoners today prisoners prisoners while I was cooking dinner I did all of the washing up I also did my sandwiches so my sandwiches are now done for tomorrow something that really bugs me is it gets to 11 o'clock and I go I still need to do my sandwiches oh and I don't have that today <laughs> Um, also, the new Hearthstone expansion is out, which is good. The next page of it, um, which is awesome news. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my washing while I play around of that, and then I'm going to uh, write letter to Lovely, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, finish writing it and then go and post it today. I want to go and post it this evening, is what I'm aiming to do. Um, try and find a post box or something. Um, but otherwise. Beyond that, all I have to do is plan the video that I've got in my head, that I've got planned for the main channel, and it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited to do it. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm on fire, basically. I'm in a productive mood. I'm making the most of it while I've got it, because tomorrow I'm going to make sure I don't. And we're calling it there, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. I'm going to render you and upload you, um, so that you are... Um, sorted by hopefully 11 o'clock because then I can watch Breaking Bad at 11, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, but I've had a productive evening, I've completely written Lovely's letter which takes freaking ages and I can't even write neat anymore. I'm trying my hardest to write really really neat but it's just like man writing. And it's not neat. But I've also cleared my washing away. Um, the only thing I haven't done is pl well post the letter because um, it's too late to go out and post it really. I may as well take it with me to work and find a post box on the way there or on the way home. Um, there's that and also um, planning the main channel video isn't quite done uh, yet. But I can do that tomorrow, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Because obviously I'm not going to be able to film it till Saturday anyway, so that's fine. Um, tomorrow is going to be a relatively more relaxed day, he says. Less worky, but we'll see about that. Probably not. Because uh, I need to sort out a food plan for a shop. But I assume I'm going to wait till Monday to do a shop. That's what I'm thinking of doing, is waiting until Monday. Or I can do a shop Friday. They're my two options. I could either go early or late. I'm not, I don't really want to do it at the weekend, so... Yeah, but otherwise, that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching today's video. It's been very productive for me. I um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I need to post, put this in a thing, in an envelope as well. So I'm going to do that while I'm rendering you out. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Um, tomorrow is another day at work. We're going to start sprint number two, and I'm going to be there from the start of sprint number two. So that's going to be exciting. Me and Zai get a say in stuff. Yes. Right then, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you later.